I need my coffee. Oh. Are you listening to mariachi music outside? Oh my gosh. Oh, Lord help me. Dude, they don't give no Fs right now. There is like tons of people moving out right now, so maintenance has been on our cul-de-sac like every day this week and I, I guess today they're feeling the musical vibes and they're they're playing music. So if you guys hear any background noise, like I'm so sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I just wanted to do a super chill sit down, get ready with me video. I'm actually needing to get ready because my husband has a Christmas dinner thing for his unit at lunchtime. So I'm gonna go, everybody's potlucking, so I am making mashed potatoes right now. Uh, so I'm gonna be going over there and I figured why not film me getting ready and chit chat with you guys. I'm gonna do just like a simple, like super, super basic, simple holiday look, easy, go to um but anyways you guys if you want to hang out with me while I get ready and just talk about everything and absolutely nothing then just keep watching okay what am I gonna start off with I really want to keep my hair down but I know it's gonna bother me so it's going up is this cute because this is what you're gonna get y'all I can't believe next week is Christmas like like t I'm filming this on Friday and what Christmas is on Wednesday we just did some grocery shopping for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day dinner, which I'm sure, I'm, I don't know. I was like going back and forth because I'm like, do I get my stuff now or do I get it over the weekend? But I know it's going to be so crazy on the weekend trying to fight the crowds. And then, you know, Tuesday's Christmas Eve. And so I was like, no, I'll just go and like get the basics now. So that's what we did. Dig and I, we went to the store last night and we got prime rib for Christmas dinner. Usually we've always done ham, but last year on Christmas Eve, we did a prime rib and it was so good. I cooked it perfectly. Watch me mess it up this year now, but I cooked it perfectly and it was just so good. And it's just the two of us. So we just got like a super small one because yo, those are things are expensive. I went in with the Kypris Antioxidant Dew. This is a glow serum, yeah. I really like it because it's got like a tacky feel to it, so I feel like it makes my, makes my foundation stick. So I really like that. I think I'm gonna do my eyes first, just because in case I feel messy, because I feel kind of off my game this morning. I don't know why. I'm just gonna go in with some e.l.f. concealer on my lid. I didn't get my blending sponge wet. I literally started talking and then I was like, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alrighty, Rue. I really hope this is focusing on my face right now. I'm not blurry. I have a whole new setup. Same camera, same low quality camera because I can't, like I really want to get a new camera. I really want the Canon G7X just because I feel like that's a good like go-to camera because I really don't know anything about cameras to be honest and so I don't want to go and buy like a super super expensive one and just end up getting like the wrong one. I've heard nothing but good stuff about the Canon G7X and I also like to vlog so I feel like that'd be like a good happy medium and I just can't find it in my heart to get it right now when I have a camera that works. I mean it works pretty good. It's not the best quality like I'm not gonna act like I have the best camera out there because I really don't but it works for what I have right now. I got a new tripod for it and I have bought a new ring light. It was actually my Christmas gift, but I'm obviously using it early. And I feel like hopefully this really helps. Hopefully the lighting's not too off. I'm still trying to figure out how to like work it with the camera. This is actually my first official like makeup video with it. So hopefully the lighting and everything doesn't suck. I was using, um, it comes with two different like types of light films, I guess you can say. And the first one was, it's like a pure, white plastic cover so it gives like a really really clean white light which i really like i use it on my clients when i do their makeup but i put this orange one on it gives it more of a warm tone to it because i don't have anything in my background right now which i really need to get set up um, if i'm going to be doing more videos just so it doesn't look like i'm like about to have my mug shot taken <laughs> but i was like you know what? let me try this warm white because just it's just so stark white when i use the white one i kind of like the effect so hopefully it looks all right if i like it i might just keep it on and use it on my clients because i i freelance as well and so that's mainly why i got it so that i could have better lighting because right now i'm just using natural light okay guys so i just set my eyes i'm going to be going in with the tati beauty textured neutrals palette that is my number one palette right now my go-to my everything like it's just it's got everything i need 
I'm not going to show you guys what shades I'm using. I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm using just because I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this palette right now. So, yeah, no. I, like, yeah, no. Mm, 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 mm. They're playing their music again. I mean, whatever floats their boat. They gotta, like, clean houses and redo them every time somebody moves out. I think they have, they're supposed to, like, I think put new carpet in every time somebody moves out. Because I live on post. In case you guys didn't know, um, my husband's in the military, and so we live on post. Um, just because that was our preference for our duty station. And so every time somebody moves out of a house, they're supposed to rip up the carpet and everything. So it's like a whole ordeal every time somebody moves out. And there's like, there's the person next to us, they're moving out. That's why I'm hearing the music because they're next door right now. And every single morning they come with their little worker trucks and they back up into the carport and they got those little beepers that back it up. And that's my alarm clock. But there's the people next to us. There's people across the street that I think just moved out or in the process of moving out. There was somebody like a month ago that was like the next duplex over that moved out, which I thought moving season, like PCS season was like springtime, but maybe it's like springtime and winter. I don't know. But I feel like a lot of people are PCSing like right before Christmas and ugh, I can't even imagine. I just feel like that'd be like really rough on your family. I'm just going in with Soothe and the matte texture and I'm kind of just like, I'm not even being precise with this, you guys. This is such a laid back, easy look. I'm putting it kind of on the outer corner in the crease. And kind of buffing it up and all over as a transition shade kind of all over the lid taking whatever's left on my brush and just being messy with it it's kind of why i want to do the eyes first just because i'm not trying to be super precise and i don't have like a proper mirror to do my makeup now that i have a different setup i had a stand-up mirror but with how the tripod and the lighting is set up now i don't know you would see everything and so i'm trying to use the mirror on um tati's palette which is a really really good quality mirror so i don't mind but it's like at a different angle now so i'm trying to like finger out what i'll do Back to what I was saying about Christmas. By the way, I hope you guys can hear me okay too because my camera's farther away. I'm like so nervous about this video. That's why I really want, I didn't want to do like a super like intense makeup look just because this is kind of like my tester video right now. I just can't believe it's already Christmas time. Like wasn't it just Thanksgiving? Like, oh. <sighs> okay, so now I'm just going in with Ritual in the matte texture and I'm keeping it more so on the outer V, the outer corner, and just buffing it in there as well. You guys, I'm over here talking about how I can't believe that Christmas is almost here. I can't believe that it's almost 2020 either. Like, you know how it's one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, I can't believe the end of the year is coming, but it's like, it's the end of a, is it a decade? Is it a decade? Is 10 years a decade? Let me hold on, I need to Google this. Yes, a decade is 10 years. I was what? A sophomore in high school? No, a junior, I think. No, sophomore, junior. I was 15. So much has changed in like 10 years. Like me as a human being, just like figuring out myself, what I want in life, some things I look back on, I'm like, yikes. Can I just like hit the erase forever button in my brain and just like remove that? Oh, lots of lessons learned, lots of highs. Lots of lows, lots of joyful memories, painful memories, but sometimes it's like I wish I wouldn't have gone through half the stuff that I went through growing up and everything, but then it's at the same time it's like, would you really be the person that you were or that you are now if you hadn't gone through those things? Like, so, in a good way, I guess. Like, yeah, if you guys know what I mean. I just feel like I've been through like so many life experiences, recent, more recently, I guess, than later, where I'm just like, okay. This is what I want out of life. This is what I don't want out of life. Like, and just kind of like figuring it out. And because it was hard. My husband and I got young, married really, really young. Like, really young. Like, we were like 20 when we got married. And we were just like, I don't know. We were just so crazy. I'm going in with the shade Ritual in Sequin. And we were just so young and just wanted to be together. And like, it's like hard when you're in a relationship and you're still trying to figure out like yourself and what you want. But you're also trying to like do that with somebody but at the same time on your own and it's tough man but you know i'm definitely like proud of us because we've totally defied the odds i feel like we've proved so many people wrong you know because we have the cards pinned against us you know just because i feel like the divorce rate and everything is just so high lately i don't know people i just feel like are willing to just give up when the going gets rough and Hopefully I'm not pushing anybody's buttons by saying this, but I just feel like so many people are just like willing to give up these days without even trying and it's like, yeah, marriage is hard work. Alrighty, so my camera just cut off because I'm being a big mouth and can't hear myself when I'm talking, but 
Okay, so my eyes are pretty much done. I just did Aura in the sequin shade and put it on the lid. So I'm going to tightline my eyes off camera and then I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and tightlined my eyes and I threw some mascara on. I'm not doing lashes just because it's a super simple look. So now we are going to throw on some foundation real quick. I didn't realize that I had to leave the house in like 45 minutes. 40, 45 minutes and I haven't even boiled or mashed the potatoes yet so I was like oh snap so I have the burner on downstairs it makes me kind of nervous that I'm not there right now watching it but I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless but yeah what was I saying my camera cut off and I didn't even realize it and I went ahead talking for like another 10 minutes so I'm trying to remember where it left off oh yeah I was just talking about like looking back at my life and how everything's like changed me and formed me and even though the life that definitely sucked sometimes you know for circumstances that were either, you know, on my own doing or even not on my own doing and it was just how the cards were dealt. I feel like I turned out okay. I feel like I'm a pretty decent human being for the most part. I ordered off of Amazon um, some like ink art pens and a bullet journal because I really want to start bullet journaling. I watch Angie Belmar on YouTube and she does a lot of bullet journaling and does like you know just like cool artistic things in her journal to help kind of plan her goals and everything and i love drawing i love art it's one of my favorite things to do it just helps my creative juices flowing and it's just so relaxing too so i was like you know what i'm gonna do that so i got myself some pens and a bullet journal and then i think i'm gonna get like a big cardstock board and do that but for like the whole year and put it here in my room as like my vision board and just kind of what I want to achieve in the next year. That way it's just like in front of me and I'm looking at it every day and I don't lose sight of what I want, which I think is really important. I'm putting on the e.l.f. camo concealer, just a little dab because this stuff is really light. I need to get a darker shade, but their shades like these don't have a lot of shade range for the concealers. And the next one down, I felt like it was too dark or too yellow on me, but this one's like so stark white. So I don't know, but I really, really like this concealer. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set my under eyes and my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This year I feel like will definitely be interesting for me. Found out like a week or two ago that my husband's deploying next year. I can't say when or where just for confidential reasons and I don't think I would ever say anything on camera anyways, but, but it'll definitely be, it'll be hard. But at the same time, I think it'll help me kind of keep my head down and stay focused on my goals that I want just because I get distracted really easily and so I feel like with him being gone even though as much as I don't want him to be gone it'll just kind of like I'll have nothing else to do than you know do what I want to do and fulfill the goals that I want to fulfill you know because I'm pretty much gonna be living on my own for a while which sucks so what happens when you marry someone in the military is every single person who isn't in the military says to me, oh, like, y'all, I am rushing through this because I do not want to be late to my husband's. I keep wanting to say dinner because they're doing like a, they're doing like a full like holiday feast. I, he was like saying someone's doing turkey and ham and I don't know what else, chicken. And it's like a full on holiday feast, but it's like at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with Soothe and just dust it under my eye. I just finished watching season three of Outlander. <sighs> I feel like my heart has been ripped out of my chest and stuffed back in. I tried watching that show like a couple months back, but for whatever reason, I watched the first, like I watched like five minutes of the first episode of season one and I was like, this is stupid. And I never watched it again. And then when I went home, um, like a couple months back, my grams and my aunt they're like oh my gosh it's the best show ever and they kept raving about it raving about it and i was like really is it that good though is it that good and so i came back home and i didn't watch it for quite some time and then maybe like a couple weeks ago i was like fine i'll watch this show that they won't shut up about and then i was like yeah. changed my life forever oh my gosh i was hooked claire and jamie are everything I know that like there's a season four that's out and they they're just started a season five or they're about to start a season five, I don't know. But Netflix only has the first three seasons, so I'm like, I pretty much know what happens just because it's kind of hard like not to see what happens because everything's online now. But, oh, I wish they would just put on Netflix already. Because I finished season three and I was like, I feel like there's a hole in my heart now and something's missing in my life. I literally felt so sad for the last like few days that I stopped watching it because I was like, 
it's over. Now what do I do? <laughs> Every so often there's those rare shows in life that just get you right in the heart and it's it's a really good show. If you guys haven't seen it, I would highly recommend it. Be forewarned. It's very, very graphic. There's like, yeah, it's definitely like intense. It's kind of like, like a Game of Thrones intense, but I feel like more. And at first when I was watching it, I was like, <clears throat> Because, like, people were warning me, like, it's an intense show, and I was like, this is intense, okay. And then there were a couple episodes that I was like, oh, what? 18th century, people were ruthless, man. What else is going on with my life? Mm, that's about it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to use the Ciate London Blush Marbled Light in the shade Halo. I love blush, but I hate putting it on because I just feel like I'm like a... Alright, let's do some highlight. I really wanted to get the Jaclyn Hill highlighters, but I was kind of iffy after the whole lipstick fiasco because I did get her lipsticks, and I did notice I had a, something wrong with one of my lipsticks, so then after that I was kind of turned off to wanting to like try any of her products. I decided when the highlighters came out, um, I just kind of wanted to wait and see everyone's review instead of like buying it right away, and so far everyone's having like really good reviews about it. I would probably, if anything, get the big, the loose, like the luminous highlighter that's like the powder just because I'm not somebody that likes super, super intense highlight. I just feel like it looks kind of funky, and now the little potted one that's like super pigmented, I don't think I would ever use, and if I did use it, I would use it like an eyeshadow, I guess, but I think the one thing that was most intriguing to me was the powder, it's just because it looks so natural, like that that natural glow from within, and that's what I really, really like. Oh, you guys, I gotta do my brows, too. Oh, so I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel. This is in the shade Taupe. It's the littlest little bottle. Okay, so my camera just died on me, and I just remembered that I have coffee. I bought the white chocolate mocha creamer from Starbucks. Oh, and then for lips, I'm going to do, so for holiday look, generally most people shoot to like a red and that's the first thing I wanted to do for my lip. I don't really have a red shade that I like. I have like a bright red shade that I usually wear for like 4th of July, that kind of stuff. I don't really like it so much for the holidays, so I have a really pretty shade that I got back in like September, October. It's from Maybelline. It's their color sensational lipstick in nude nuance 657 it's their matte lipstick and it's just such a pretty shade i don't know it's it's like a burnt reddish brick kind of color i don't know you know what i'm just gonna put it on my lips Alrighty, you guys so this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me while i chit chat and got ready and talked about everything and anything and absolutely nothing um if you guys like this video be sure to give it a like subscribe hit the bell for notifications leave a comment down below let me know what you guys are doing for christmas or what your 2020 um goals are for the year and yeah i will see you in my next video bye guys